There is a new federal study that finds taking the antiviral pill Paxlovid significantly reduces the risk of developing most symptoms of long COVID. Here to answer your questions about that is Dr. Todd Ellerin, Chief of Infectious Diseases at South Shore Health. Good to see you, Doctor. Hey, Doctor T. Great to see you. All right, question one. Let's talk about some of those details. Researchers review the records of more than 56,000 veterans with COVID. About 9,000 received Paxlovid within the first five days of infection. So. How did their illness compare to people who didn't take anything? Eddie, the ones who took uh, took Paxlovid did better. There was a 26% in the risk of the post-COVID symptoms. This was fatigue, brain fog, muscle pain, but not just those. Even cardiovascular events were decreased, like heart attacks. Problems with breathing were decreased, like pulmonary emboli, that's clots in the lungs or the legs less liver disease, less kidney disease. And get this, it didn't matter whether you were vaccinated in the past or unvaccinated, whether this was your first wow. time with COVID or you got COVID more than once, it helped all of these groups. So it just showed that once again, taking Paxlovid if you're high risk is a good thing. But you've been talking about the benefits of Paxlovid for a long time. So how do you decide which of your patients should get it, doctor? Yeah, you know, Maria, it, it's an important question. I think I break it down like this. If you are in a high risk group, you want to take it if you have COVID and you want to get it early within five days. The elderly, those with diabetes, immunocompromised, obese, chronic heart or lung disease, kidney disease, these are the groups that you want to give it to. But if you're standard risk, then we don't recommend it because of the risks of that Paxlovid rebound. Mm -hmm. Well, let, let's continue from there. As you know, Dr. T, some very high profile patients, including President Biden, who was an older man, Dr. Fauci, who was an older man, experienced a rebound of the virus after taking Paxlovid. So does that mean Paxlovid could make a COVID infection last longer or it might not work for some people, for people the same way, I guess, right? right? It's true, Paxlovid can cause that rebound, which can force you to have to isolate longer. You might be contagious, but the good news is it's still the minority of patients, probably in a two to 10% range. What do you need to be considered to have Paxlovid rebound? You have to have COVID and have a positive test and have symptoms, then you have to improve test negative, and then have a rebound in symptoms and test positive again. So the definition is, you know, it's not entirely clear what we call, for instance, President Biden probably didn't really have symptomatic Paxlovid rebound. Why? He tested negative, positive, negative, and then positive again, but he didn't have any new symptoms. I think the important thing to remember is this. If you are a high risk person, it decreases hospitalization, it decreases death. I didn't mention this, but in the VA study, it decreased death by 50% if you took Paxlovid. 50. It decreased hospitalizations by a third. So if you're high risk, you want to take it even though there is a risk of rebound. Dr. Todd Ellerin, thank you so much. Be well. Take and care, to, guys. And, Take care. And to our viewers, if you have any COVID-related questions that you would like our experts to answer, it's easy. Email them to ask at wcvb.com.